Hey everybody, welcome back to my anime unboxing channel, Giz Anime, where we will be doing anime figure unboxings for the foreseeable future until my job either lightens up or I decide to quit it, one of the two. First off, I'd like to say thank you for all the support that I've been getting after I decided to shut the channel down, basically, after getting this job, because... I have, in the span of two and a half days, gone from 473 subs to, last I checked, 622. So, that is a pretty decent increase in such a short amount of time. Uh, I was told by a few commenters that my channel videos were somehow just, like, plastered everywhere for some reason. And we're going to just chalk it up to the YouTube algorithm... For some reason, I guess just decided to throw me out there to everybody. So, um, everybody that subscribed, all of a sudden, I appreciate the support. And also, I feel a little bad because my channel has practically died because of this new job that I've gotten. And I'm not uploading near as much as I was. It was five videos a week, now down to maybe one a week. If I'm lucky. Because I'm just tired practically all the time. With that said, this video will be another unboxing surprise. And today's figure is going to be this little lass from this Bang Dream Girls band party. I looked it up. It's a game that spawned an anime. And you might be asking yourselves, well, Giz Anime, why do you have a figure that you'd have no idea what it's about? Well, I got this figure in a lot of figures on Makari from by Japan. So I bought like 15 or 16 figures for like 130 or 140 So she came with it. Uh, she was really the only one I didn't know who it was, but she's really pretty looking so I just decided hey let's unbox her because she's gorgeous looking and let's see if uh, the figure itself stands up to the picture that they put on the box so that said let's get into it all right first off as I mentioned the box itself is really pretty looking um, we have this really nice picture on the front of it of her her name is Rosalia Minato Yukina. I'm really not sure what she does in the game and or anime, what kind of character she is. Off rip, I'm just assuming from Bang Dream Girls Band Party that they're in a band. So she's probably a musician of some sort. Not sure if she plays an instrument or if she's a singer. The figure itself is from the Sega series. And, yeah, let's get into the actual figure itself and get this unboxing done. It's about time. Alright, so she comes with just her stand or her base and the figure itself. So, looking at the base, we have her name drawn on top of it with like this diamond pattern on the base. And this bluish purple and white, which I really like. I like the fact that the base is just not your typical white clear base. That it has a little detail to it and a little bit of coloring to it. I wish they would do this with every base they make. I don't know why this is so difficult for them to do. Of course it's hollow on the bottom. Just made out of plastic. So it's not like some type of expensive base. But it's still pretty and it still has detail to it. Which is a bonus in my opinion. Then we have the figure herself. She has this really nice ornament on her head. I'm really not sure what you would call this. But it has this black and blue rose in it, as you can see. With these feathers that come out of the side of her head. And they look really nice. You have her gorgeous looking face with these really wide yellow eyes, long flowing light purple hair. 
and this Lolita, gothic Lolita type dress, um, with like the black and these chains on it, and it goes for like from this purple here to black to white, and it just looks really nice. You've got this giant ribbon on her side, these really long. Um, I think these are called stilettos. Uh, I have no idea. Not too sure though. So, but they look really nice. They have like this. They're black with like this gold silver in the center, and then it has like all these spots where I guess like the lacing would be, which is really awesome. We have like this really pretty pendant on her neck that has this chain that comes down around it. Really nice long flowing hair with several different strands to show detail as well. Yeah, she is definitely pretty looking though. And the dress, again, the dress is really nice. I really like this. Once more, I do not have one of the turntables to display her on. I will be getting that sometime soon. I've just been wasting more money than I should be on figures since I actually have a job now and can actually get a few of them that I really do like. I have bought Sophie. She is on the way from Mushoko Tensei. She will probably be the next upload if she gets here quick enough. Again, I do plan on getting Iris and quite a few others like Kumiko from... So I'm a spider, so what? I plan on getting the girls from Shadow's House, which is a really underrated anime. I'm going to get Suyu Froppy from My Hero Academia. Even though that's kind of an older figure, I've always wanted one of hers, and I really like the detail in it, so I plan on getting it off the Crunchyroll store, more than likely, because they're the cheapest one I've seen so far. And just... All kinds of other figures that I will display here now. But with that said, let me know what you thought of this little lady here. And out of the figures that I've shown in the intro with the rest of the lot that I bought off of Makari from Buy Japan, let me know which one you all are most interested in seeing unboxed next. And with that said, I will catch you all next time.